Hey everyone, hope you're all doing well. Um, I have come highly medicated today because this is the first sativa that I've got on the medical market and the first sativa that I've tried in absolutely eons. Um, so I'm not very used to it. I'm used to um, indica um, and indica hybrids, which have more of a sort of couch look. Um, anyway, um, so what I've got today is a Noidex Royal Moby which looks like this and it is um 20 thc um less than one percent cbd um it's a sativa hybrid and it costs from six pounds 40 a gram um 10 grams is 80 pounds generally um and the parents for this the genetics it comes from some sort of haze um, it doesn't seem to state which type of haze and also um, white widow as well. Um, and yeah, it's really, um, it's lovely. I'm, I've never tried Noidex before. Um, I'm really impressed actually. Um, what this tastes like and smells like overwhelmingly is lime and it is delicious. The terps on this are so nice. Um, I love citrusy tasting terps, but I, I don't like limonene too much as people will probably know by now. Um, but this is really citrusy, it really hits you and it really does, it's, it actually tastes more like lime than what it smells like and, and it's really delicious. Um, and the other um, note on this is pine, um, but it's because the lime is so strong, the pine is the sort of minor note in my opinion. Um, I feel like the citrus terps take over and then the kind of pine is in the background. Um, so yeah, that is what it smells like and tastes like. It's very smooth to vape. Um, and yeah, I really like this. It's a fun thumbs up from me. Um, I'm having a look at the terpene profile and it has got the longest list of terpenes that I've ever seen. I mean, the list is long. Um, and it's interesting because it's got a completely different terpene profile to anything I've ever tried before. Um, and what it's mostly got is geraniol, and that's 34.64%. And I don't think I've had, knowingly, obviously maybe on the black market, but on, um, on the medical market, I don't think I've had um, a strain that has lots of geraniol in it so far um and i know i like geranium geraniol because um i love putting it in my bath like in in the essential oil form um so yeah i think that is an interesting terps um then we've also got beta pinein which is 14.36 um and then the next one down is humulene which is 16.58 and then we've got like much more minor levels, but we've got alpha pinene, myrcene, we've got limonene, but only 2.97%. So that's a thumbs up from me. Um, and then we've got oxymine um, and then terpinaline, which is the main terpene that is in powdered donuts. Terpinine, which is different by the looks of things, to terpinaline. Um, that one actually, the flavour or the scent of it says woody gasoline. So maybe that's the sort of gassy notes that some of the um, strains have. Then it's got something called cymene or cymene, C-Y-M-E-N-E, -E, cymene. I've never heard of that terpene at all. Um, it's got eucalyptol, nerolidol, carine. I haven't heard of that one either. That says that it's earthy and sweet. Um, and then it's got camphene. So it really does have a cocktail of um, medical qualities. Um, and yeah, I really like this strain. It's um, definitely, I'm more in my, I've got more of a head um, buzz than I normally do. I normally have more of a body buzz. I can really feel it in my head. I feel really giggly. Um, and I feel quite floaty and light. Um, what else? Um, I feel like it's very calming. I don't feel any anxiety on this strain, but it's definitely like having a coffee. Um, it's nearly, oh, I haven't got my watch on. It's 1.30 in the morning, I think, almost 1.30, and I'm wide awake. I'm very um, relaxed, but I'm wide awake. 
um, I couldn't resist it and I made, you know, I, I vaped it sort of an hour ago or something or maybe half an hour ago. Um, and it's night time, so it's woken me up. So this is definitely a daytime strain, even though it is really relaxing. I feel like I'm going to be up for another, you know, couple of hours or something before I can sleep. Um, and it feels like a really good um, strain for creativity. Like I feel like I just want to settle down and just do some artwork or something or oh, make something. I don't know. Um, yeah i feel like doing a bit of crafting um in the middle of the night um yeah so i think i think this is a creative strain in my opinion um and i feel like it's really antidepressant like i feel really uplifted um today i'm vaping this so those are my thoughts that's how it makes me feel it's a for me it's hit straight away it wasn't a creeper maybe because i'm not used to sativas and i'm only used to indicas but it it really did hit me very strong and very quick um but yeah i'm really pleased with this i like the strain and you know maybe i found a a good old sativa that i like i'm really happy about that um because i do want to see if a sativa helps my um adhd a bit because i've recently my focus has been absolutely shocking i can't concentrate i can't read i can't you know take information in easily i've got like a million and one things going through my head at once and i just want to see if um yeah a sativa dominant strain helps my adhd as much as um you know other people with adhd that um that i've i've read about or i've talked to um uh yeah and i think that's the sort of age old thing of like stimulants being calming for adhders we're a bit topsy-turvy um although i definitely do find indicas really calming like i've been on so many pharmaceutical um benzos and um things like that sleeping tablets and they've never worked for me but um you know cannabis does so we're all good here um I don't know what else to say really I think it's I'm gonna look up some of those terpenes because I really like to familiarize myself with all the terpenes and there's a few that I don't know about so um I've got a bit of reading to do um but yeah I'm gonna go and enjoy this and see what I can get up to um in the middle of the night and wear myself out so that I can sleep tonight all right guys happy medicating bye